Graded assistance to ensure success. Okay, a little bit more here. To participate in an activity or social interaction, a person may need assistance. There are different ways of providing assistance. There is asking. Do you want to get the, um, get the blender going? So you want to bring that over here? Instructing. Prompting or gesturing. And this part here, just rip it all off. It'll, it'll, it'll peel back. So Demonstrating. Like that. Guiding a person physically. The type of assistance you provide and how much of it will depend on the person and the situation. Yep. Individuals require different types and amounts of assistance. One person may need a prompt, whereas another may need physical guidance such as hand-over-hand -hand assistance. In one situation, a person may need to be shown how to do something, but in another, may just need verbal instruction. Adjusting the type and amount of assistance you provide is referred to as graded assistance. You need to provide the right type an amount of assistance to the person so they can successfully participate in an activity or social interaction. Judging the right type and amount of support a person needs is not always easy. Too much support takes opportunities away from the person. Too little support can mean they don't experience success. You can ask yourself, what support does the person need to successfully participate in this activity or interaction? To use graded assistance well, you have to focus on the person. Sometimes providing the right assistance involves standing back and letting the person do it themselves. But other times, you may need to perform a step to keep the activity moving along smoothly. Let's see. It takes practice to become skilled in graded assistance. You have to know each person and learn to judge the right type and amount of assistance they need in each situation, and then how to effectively provide it. If you use graded assistance well, then the person you support can participate in meaningful activities and social interactions.